Welcome back to Stick of Truth. Okay, so it's time to get into the one of the, our first major side quests. Damn, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no fighting in here. Okay. No fighting in here. All right. Oh, let's talk to him. Why not? But first, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just checking things. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to him then. I want you to know, I don't think I... Hold on. Fuck you, asshole! Oh, crap. Elven ambush. Oh boy. That's one thing you have to get used to. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. I actually go back to Jim and um, Skeeters first well, before I go game. to Mr. King. Okay. So yeah, this is something uh, very common throughout the game. The elves are pu fucking pussies and they always ambush me. Fucking pu elf pussies. <laughs> and, you wa and you wonder why I'm gonna side with the humans later on. <laughs> But, uh, however, however, for those who have played the game, don't worry everybody, I will show off both <laughs> outcomes. Because later on, um, there's going to be a point where I can choose to either continue siding with the humans, or betray the humans inside of the elves. However, so, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off the elven, um, the elven outcome first, and then I'll keep going, I'll go back to my main playthrough where I side with the humans because fuck the elves. Yeah. Okay. Not to mention I'm a mage at heart, so there's no way I can betray the Grand Wizard. <laughs> that was pretty good. Well, I might as well ask too. I don't think I've, I, I've asked you yet. Uh, what's the, your your favorite job in don't or class in RPGs? Shall we say? Uh, my favorite one. Well, it kind of depends because uh, being more into Final Fantasy, I was more into the unique jobs of it. Uh, mainly the dragoon and the black mage and the blue mage. Mm. For me, when it comes to um, to RPGs, whatever it is, it's always the wizard or the mage for me because I just love I just love magic and shit. So, uh, if I if I should say something that's way more common, I would say the alchemist, probably uh, because I, while not mainly a mage type, uh, I love well, something that kind of has a compromise well, to it. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Or vengeance. Um, vengeance. You've come to the right place. Um, <laughs> Okay, for those who haven't met, this is this is uh, Jambo. Uh, he's a uh, stance ankle, and uh, he sells guns. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a miner, thanks to the stupid Democrats. But but if you can prove yourself a real hunter, I might be able to get you some better stuff. You should buy a copy of the Hunter's Guide to South Park Wildlife. Th this book thing you hear. <laughs> okay, so basically, Jimbo obviously is our um, bounty uh, giver. Basically, he gives us our bounty <clears throat> missions. Basically, there are a lot of weird creatures in South Park to hunt, and if I hunt them, I can get some rewards from Jimbo. So that's pretty cool. One of them is the long legendary Canadian spider, which we'll meet later on in the game. Yep. Trust me, the, can the entire Canada segment of this game is pure brilliance. Then again, this entire <laughs> game is pure brilliance, but... Trust me, that even by this game's standards, uh, Canada is freaking brilliant. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what. Um, I'm not even gonna spoil anything about Canada, just because that that has to be seen. Yeah. Okay. Basically, I'm selling anything that I don't need for the sake of money. You kill anything in that guy, you come back and see old Jibbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. <laughs> so yeah, new quest. Big game hunting with Jimbo. And by the way, this song that's you playing in the radio, that's uh, another reference within, to, um... to the show. Later on, we'll actually uh, listen to um, the montage song from Team America, which was their other movie involving puppets. <laughs> that's one movie we had to watch sometime, trust me, because Team America is fucking hilarious. Jimbo, don't think you're going to have an easy time finding those beasts I told you about, new kid. Remember, those beasts that certainly come running if I offer them something they can resist. Oh, that's right. You have to use one of the items I gave you to tempt them out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cartman is saying... Meanwhile, Cartman is saying the client has managed more time and space. Nobody is still with him at lunch. I don't care what kind of fruit he has. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, see Shiroi, in the king, see Shiroi, Shir Shir in the war against Elden Kingdoms, if you banish more time and space, you're not allowed to have lunch with anybody. Awesome. <laughs> And here's uh, Skeeter's bar. Hold on. It's, Cal it's Kenny's dad. What's Kenny's dad doing here? Let's talk to him, why not? Who? What? Oh, hey, I guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. 
Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? Well, met myself a new friend. So. I gotta get to work. Well, good thing I woke him up. I gotta get to work. All right. That's, that's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of friends. You woke me up out of a drunken state. Let's be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Shiroi, like, uh, by South Park standards, that's not even weird at all. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, this is, this is Skeeter's bar. Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of knight of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's <laughs> Tavern. Tell you Close what, enough. Sir Knight, I got rats in the basement. Oh, no. Biggins. That's why I got stuck with Her Majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste. <laughs> that's right, Teo. It's your Our, ass that's right, everybody. Our first quest uh, is to kill rats. Rats in the basement. <laughs> Uh, uh, basically, Shiroi, uh, this is a common gag, um, specifically with, uh, MMOs, where usually the first mission is always something involving killing small animals. Yeah. <laughs> Even Final Fantasy XIV does this. Yeah. And brutally murder you. Basically, Shiroi, the, our first quest of Final Fantasy XIV when we were born is to kill squirrels. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. It, it depends on the area you get. Do you ever get to kill squirrels, rats, or mar marmots, so pretty yeah. much. So basically, this Why? is a... It, oh, honest, experimental on, on, rats. On, on, honestly, Shiroi, I don't think even the devs know. It's just a tradition that happens, and it and we just follow it for no reason. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hold on, wait, hold on. Wasn't there an episode with the rats that got experimented on, and those are the rats? Uh, no, this has nothing to do with the the genetic experiment episode. That's a different thing. Huh, weird. I could have sworn I saw them from there. Maybe I'm just remembering I wrong. I know what he's talking about. Okay, so let's kill these these fucking rats. Okay. There we go. We actually blew the rat up. <laughs> That's how powerful my fire is. All right, let's keep uh, getting stuff. Why not? Oh, actually, it's it's actually after this part that I grind. I, I thought it was around by this part. Anyway. Oh yeah, here's another okay. interesting thing. Oh, here's another interesting thing about this game. Pay attention to your surroundings because sometimes you'll find alternate ways to kill the enemies aside from battling them. Sometimes yep. you can, uh, uh, like, for example, knock down some kind of box to f make them fall on top of them and then knock them out. Which will you, you, you'll still get all the same XP, the same items, all that shit. So basically, the game rewards you for um, uh, being, being clever. Being clever. Anyway. So, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Why can't you just leave us alone? <laughs> oh gee, maybe because we're fucking rats. Hey, you're the one who bothered them. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Burn! Like I said, th like I said, this is the kind of music you'd expect to hear in a Skyrim game. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sorry, Elder Scrolls game. Or, sorry. This box. Mm. <laughs> oh, trust me, Shiroi, there's actually a, a later time where we actually fight uh, cats and they also hump us. Yeah. They what? They uh, cats hump us in this game. <laughs> it didn't look like it didn't look like the mice were humping you. It looked like it was trying to take your eyes out. Uh, but that's what they're doing, though. Well, at least the animation looks like to go. But yes, we are. <laughs> we are also gonna fight cats eventually. Oh, how, 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 don't worry, Shiroi. Considering the circumstances of those cats that we fight, I don't think even you will have problem with that. Because, oh yes. Yes. <laughs> so just trust me on that, Shiroi. These cats are it's, no normal cats. Well, is Cartman happy about you murdering the cats? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no, well, that, well, that, well, it, well, it is true that Cartman does own a cat. He actually doesn't like the cat. He he hates the he hates Kitty. So. What happened with that one episode where he was basically hoarding kittens? <laughs> yeah, apparently he does like his one kitten at times. Uh, like Depends. That. I don't know, I can't no, remember. Kitty, this is my big man pie. No, Kitty, that's a bad Kitty! <laughs> yeah, it varies from episode to episode. 
I can't remember the full story of the episode, but he was basically holding Cat for some reason. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, but so I think cats were outlawed in that episode. Maybe. I remember when we was, um... Oh, look. <laughs> there we go. I remember one, one, that, one particular that I really love is, um... With the one where he's, uh, trapping hippies. Because Carpenter hates hippies. And quite frankly, so do, and quite frankly, so do I. There you go. My problem with the hippie culture in general is that, uh, oh, it's changed the world. How? By sing by singing songs and getting high, because that helps. I'm sorry, I just don't understand. I, 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 I'm sorry. But just, you actually have to be proactive about this stuff and not sit on your ass and sing about being proactive. That, that, that's my problem exactly. That's all the hippies Damn, do. You ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go. All right. Oh. Some, all right. Two more friends on Facebook, and I got some bar darts as a new weapon. Awesome. New message from Officer Barbara. Oh boy. Let's check it. For your friends. Okay. Dear Diary, today <sighs> I made friends with a new kid. He was n really nice. I hope he likes me too. Ugh. Oh, come on, uh, I'm pretty sure this is, this is like how Officer Barbara would type in Facebook. I guess. <laughs> it reminds me of how my parents handle social networks. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there oh, you go. You see, you see what I mean? The elves are fucking pussies. They're right there waiting for me. <laughs> but this time I ambushed. <laughs> but this time I ambushed. Amb ambushed you, assholes. See? So, and you. <laughs> awesome. We're still doing this, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Hammer of storms. Feel my righteous fury. There we go. The hammer of storms uh, can actually attack two enemies as long as two, those two enemies are uh, one one in the upper side and the other in the downer side. Basically, it hits enemies in a vertical uh, ratio. <laughs> Screw you, kid. Alright. Hmm. What to do now? Alright, so let's take care of the swordsman first. There. Basically, I put on, um... The specific clothes that I'm wearing right now gave me buffs every time I cause fire damage, so... That's why you see attack up whenever I, I strike with my dragon's breath. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bow of sucking. It takes an archer to kill an archer. Oh boy, oh boy. An eye for an eye and an arrow for an arrow. Look that, you fucking elves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got myself some health potion. All right now, I think we're going to the Mongolian uh, restaurant, aren't we? Oh, actually, no, we're going to Butters' house. So this is not the fi so yeah. Uh, like I said, now that we have some fast travel flies. Let's travel back to. Hmm. Kirkman's house. There are often ways to use the environment. To not yeah. I already thanks, Sam. I already expected that, but thanks for that anyway. You can use the examine option in combat to get more information on the status of pets and shit like that. So that's pretty cool. How may I be of service? Oh yeah, yeah. First what I'm gonna do is buy some stuff. Today. I've accumulated $47, might as well use them. Alright, one thing about this game is that uh, no matter how much money you get, there's a thing about each weapon is limited to how, uh, how um, leveled up you are. So that's yet another motivation to grind, because uh, the higher level, the more powerful weapons you can buy. Oh, Yep. So that's one of the main reasons why in between parts I'm going to do some massive grinding. It, it's not like it's hard to level up. The level cap is at 15 if I recall. Yeah, it is. Specifically because I want to buy the Khan Gauntlets. Because I really like those those ones. But uh, unfortunately I have to level up to level 11 to get that. Of course. And uh, notice how they're selling Clyde's helmet. <laughs> yeah. Poor bastard. <laughs> Sure, have you ever played RPGs uh, 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 on your background? On your back, um, sorry, on your, um, I'm guessing not. 
Shiro? What, me? Yeah. I barely touch RPGs. No, I'm, no, I'm not talking about in terms of uh, games. I'm talking about in terms of uh, uh, you know, tabletop RPGs and stuff like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's not possible. That's not possible? No. What do you mean it's not possible? Um, I guess. I can't. I can't play them because. All oh, right. Is... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. No, basically, somebody's like, it's not fun when somebody basically has to play for you. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, sure. It could be worse. You could be in one of those families that still think that D and D is satanic or some oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> oh god. Well, trust me. Trust me. Here in Italy, there are still people that think like that. It's fucking stupid. It's like, okay. Basically, I struggle to play a snap. And that's a children's, that is quite literally a children's card game. <laughs> hmm. uh, uh, actually, well, let's, let's, let's not forget that there's also people like the Vigilant Christian who keep trying to convince us that Zelda is satanic. <laughs> <laughs> but, but don't you see, Teo, there's an eye in a pyramid that, uh, that clearly is a satanic symbolism. Sonic 06 is totally satanic. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure, according to, well, according to the Vision Christian, video games in general are satanic anyway, so whatever. Anyway. Well, according to him, a, a TV show about pastel colored ponies for children is also satanic, but there you go. Yeah, you see, you see, uh, Teo, according to the Vision Christian, My Little Pony is actually a ploy by Asbro to, to make uh, boys <laughs> effeminate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. I, I don't care for my little pony, but even I want to say stupid shit like that. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Start garage key. Alright, let's 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 check out Butter's house. Okay, Shiro, a question. Have you ever seen an episode involving the Scotch family, aka okay, Butter's uh, family? I don't think so, no. In that case, I have to show you a specific episode after we're done with this, because... Okay. Trust me. You have to. Butter's parents are fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that episode. I love that no, I've one. I've only seen their parents for brief moments. I've never seen a whole episode centered around them. Butter's really is a very sweet boy. I hope you'll treat him as you would a normal child. Uh, <laughs> you like it here. The air is fresh, and there's always something to do to take your mind off things you wish had never happened. What? <laughs> you like it here. You like it here. The air is fresh. Well, Butter's mom is kind of insane. So, yeah, I can see it. Is that something to do uh, with the episode right you're gonna show me? Oh uh, yeah. You see, you see, uh, you see, Shiroi. Apparently, Butter's parents take pleasure in drowning him because. He literally, uh, his dad literally just friended me on Facebook so, specifically so that I could tell them if there's something uh, he's doing that he should be grounded for. Oh, that, come that... on. <laughs> oh, that's not even going into the psychological issues each one has. Oh, yeah. You remember the uh, Butters', Butters is Great Adventure episode, Butters, Pedro? But, yeah, Butters' very own episode. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor Butters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You've got to see that episode. Everyone knows it's Butters. That's me. Okay, it came to the point where apparently he just snapped off screen and apparently defaced the entire school in the latest season. Okay. Welcome to my room. Yes, you're probably very familiar with it yourself, Butters. My they help me punish society. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You see, Shiroi, Butters actually has also a secret- Oh, I found Monkey. Okay. One more chip <laughs> Pokemon. Anyway, uh, you see, Shiroi, uh, Butters has a, a dark secret, too. He's, oh, yeah. He's also- he also has an alter ego. Oh, here it is, some more- references. I can't remember- I can't remember the name of it, but... Professor Chaos. There yeah. you go. Who will play a prominent role in the next game, from what I understand. Yeah, the next game, instead of being centered around in, in uh, fantasy heroes, it's centered around superheroes. Oh. And since I love the Coon arc, I'll be playing that game for the channel. Trust me, Shiro, you have to see the Coon trilogy to understand why that's such yeah, an awesome yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, Pedo Bear grows, glows. Drake glows, which, are, which is which is a teddy bear with a hole in it. <laughs> well, gotta make do with what you have, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's check our new items. Lighting one. 
I'm not gonna. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, on purple attack, we can target attack. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, bar darts. I have to level up level 50 to use them, so not right now. Samurai gloves. Mm, yeah. Starface paint. Bangs. DMV literature. Let's see what we got. DMV literature. No, nothing like that. USB drive. Tap shoes. There we go. Two new friends, Mr. Stotch and Mrs. Stotch. All right. All right. Let's keep exploring. So yeah, right from the beginning, the game completely opens up, and you can explore the entire city looking for stuff. Like, uh, despite the game not looking uh, expensive, it really is. There's a lot to see and do in this game. And of course, yeah, let's ambush me. Because they're fucking pussies. <laughs> yes, I'm sure, Butters. Let's kick their asses. Let's take care of the sword. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, too bad, dude. Uh, You're in the middle yeah. of a battle. <laughs> you should have went before you came out. If you have to go to the bathroom, you should never push me, asshole. <laughs> All right, let's take care of the priest. Yeah, what you can. I really feel sad for you. I don't. <laughs> yeah, neither. Alright, to the victory go the spoils. Health potion. And the priest has... Cash. Alright! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist <laughs> rubbing salt in the wound. Alright. And chin balls. Yeah, that's right, we can get chin balls. I'm not even kidding. Mm-hmm. Alright, and the- alright, so what are the strap-ons? Basically, it- to every piece of equipment I have, I can, uh, put in a strap-on, which adds an extra effect. Uh, like, um, uh, like, automatically heal every time I attack, or something like that. Basically, with a great combination of strap-ons, you can, uh, really uh, create some- an awesome badass warrior. Like for, example, one that, like, for example, like for example, one that I have, uh, I'm gonna have later on, is a, a strap on that heals me every time I, I do a fire attack. And since my dragon breath is a multiple hit uh, fire attack, it will heal me while I'm attacking. Yeah. Mm. So, so it's a good idea to uh, experiment with strap ons. Of course. There is actually I'm a lot. Of, there is actually a lot of depth to this to the gameplay. Like, even if you took away the, the writing and the story, like, uh, it, you still have a great RPG here. Oh. Uh... Okay, then. Well. Here's an idea, don't answer the door naked. <laughs> Stupid woman. Yeah. So yeah, just before to Kelly Gardner, and uh, she says she doesn't want to talk, she's better at Facebook. So she ma she's just messaged me. Oh my god, a, a girl in South Park who isn't a bitch. There, this is way easier than talking. Anyway, I feel I, I feel like you and I have a real connection. Um, sure. Okay. Don't really know you. How do you sure. feel like me? Well, she she's probably an antisocial, so she's probably desperate for friends and shit. Alright, let's uh tear down this. There we go. Now ah, it's climb. Hello. Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? Oh, it's one of those kids. <laughs> what do you mean? He, he, he just asked me, she right? Are you new? That means you don't know anything about me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still not as bad as Pip. What did you do? There you go. That That's what you get for building a dumb uh, snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I don't want to build a fucking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, let's check out this garage. Mm, nothing here. Oh, all right, shredded plastic. Alright. Oh, I see. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. Oh. Ah, uh, that's Craig for you. 
Alright, in that case, I guess I'll have to save Craig for last. Let's keep exploring. Okay, nothing here. Alright, let's go here. Now, in this particular house, we can uh, get a new side quest, so... Alright then, let's get to it. <laughs> Could we not talk about that? Oh, uh, actually, she, right, there, <laughs> there, actually she, there is an entire episode about um, queefing. Is, is that the answer? <laughs> <laughs> she, right, she, right, she, right, it's South Park. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, oh. human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. Oh, oh. ah, the Trekkies. The captain is my mom. <laughs> I, I can't oh. go outside when she's at home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's um, a it, It's my dad's iPad. Hoth is, uh, is Star Wars, dude. Get your, yeah. get your <laughs> friend Jess's right. Falls into Klingon hands. Wow, the iPad 2 was a thing back then. <laughs> Okay. Vulcan around. More mm. underpants. <laughs> Trust me, Shiroi, this will be useful later. Okay. Shiroi, I'm, I, I assure you, there's not a single controversial subject that South Park hasn't tackled. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can confirm that. Like the yep. Skeeter. Now that the rats are gone and the roaches are breeding unchecked, guess we shouldn't have fucked with Mother Nature. <laughs> and the bar. I mean, hey, Maybe. South Park is a South Park is offensive, but at least it cares about equality. It it equally bastardizes everything. Oh, oh, even even even, yeah. even, even, even when we're switching class, is uh, picking class. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay. Even back when we were switching our, uh, changing our class, um, picking our classes in the first part, they were being equal. Uh, a white thief, never heard of one, but interesting. And then we pick fighter, a white fighter. I haven't seen one of those in a while. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, but so yeah, um, it evens out. <laughs> oh, this satellite. Th we'll get back to this later. Yeah. Yep. We're doing a lot of foreshadowing, I see. Well, uh, hold on. Um. <laughs> Man, there are a lot of people in South Park who masturbate to porn. Yeah, and but and answer the door while doing. Yeah, it. Yeah, first we on like a dressing gown or a robe or whatever to answer the door. <laughs> well, actually, she they didn't answer the door. The door was unlocked, so I just opened it. Yeah, we left her. Door unlocked. That's kind of even room? worse. Shiroi, um, this is this is South Park, a city full of retards. Yeah. <laughs> or say at least. There's not a single normal person here. Elves Fucking elves. <laughs> hmm. Well, there are the Mormons. Oh yeah, the Mormons. Well, There's surprisingly yeah, yeah, a it, few it normal kind of people. The tone when the Mormons are the normal guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these elves are, and, and, the, and these are right. these are the kind of elves that piss me off the most, the ones who are in a uh, horizontal line. Because one of the things about the battle system in this game is, um, I cannot uh, uh, attack anyone who has someone in front of them covering them. So in this case I have to kill um, one by one. But these fucking elves are being put even pussies in terms of their positioning. <laughs> fucking elves. <Feel> yes. <laughs> And the priest has just healed them. So yeah, obviously it's a good idea to take care of the of the um, priest first. So let's just, let's do so. Hurry up! Uh, I'm moving my own pace, asshole. You have to wait your turn. Like it's like olden times, dude. I know it's lame, but that's how we're fucking doing it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna play the game, you're gonna play it properly. Exactly. Shit. Not play at all. <laughs> Fuck you, your rocks. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it hurt. Okay, there you go. Just 
screw you, Alan Priest. <laughs> There you go. You think we were too hard on him? No, no, we weren't. Never enough. Oh, actually, uh, we still haven't seen it, but there's one particular winning quote by Butters that I really love. But um, I'll save that for when he actually says it. I got beat up one time over there by that tree. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. It, I, I love how Butters remembers every time he's got beaten up. Yeah, by someone or something. Alright, so here's the church, which means the... Neither can I. Okay. Well, girls are known for not really being strong at keeping secrets. So. I am not one of those girls. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Okay, then. Pardon me for a moment. <laughs> well, well Shiroi, from what I've heard, there is a reason for the stereotype, at least. I think it's one among one. girls of a certain age, i.e. secondary school. Hmm. Okay. So we that's when we're that's when we're at our bitchiest and most intolerable. Well, yeah, you you made Twilight popular, so. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's got nothing to do with me. I am not. No, 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 no I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about you, <laughs> you teen girls. Oh my boy. Okay. You know you can die from a titty twister? Uh, that looks hilarious, though. Oh, love her. Okay, I love this one. Oh, what sad times these are when the <laughs> nation's youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> and if you really want power, there is only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Is this the vigilant Christian? <laughs> Return to me. No, it's Father Maxi. Basically, Father Maxi is the yes. priest of... The priest of the time. And now, our, new <laughs> our new quest is literally called Find Jesus. So yeah, let's find Jesus. He's in our hearts, isn't he? No. Oh. Oh, more literally. <laughs> well, Shiroi, where, where we can we usually find the Jesus? In the uh, aside from after, after beating fucking ambushing elves. Yeah. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> in your face. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, Shiroi, uh, Father Maxi is the priest of uh, South Park. Um, he's one of the few people who are who are at least somewhat decent, um, except for the fact that uh, he, except for the fact that he loves to uh, have sex with women in the in the confessing booth. Oh. Well, we can't have a, a, a someone who's who doesn't have some kind of perverted. Uh, uh, secret, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cartman's mom. Also, gonna love how the icon represents you, represents your class, and not actually your face. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, no, 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 you see, Shiroi, uh, the thing about uh, the, the Games of Satan thing, like Teo was saying, uh, back in the 80s and 90s, a lot of parents and uh, basically they were trying to say that play, that RPGs were satanic games because, you know, because of the magic involved and because, uh, uh, basically, sure, in case you don't know, there's a part in the Bible, Bible that says uh, thou shall not uh, indulge in sorcery, witchcraft, and shit like that. So basically, um, any, Christ any devoted Christian will tell you that uh, RPGs are satanic because of that. Yeah. That's kind of, um, uh, but, but, but that's kind of contradictory considering. Can yeah, the problem is we basically transform quickly into one of those uh, cre uh, religious fears like they were for uh, rock and roll back in the day, and nowadays there are for violent video games. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, I know um, that laugh. Hello? I know that laugh. There you, yeah, you are. Me. Hello. Oh. Next time finding me won't be so easy. We found Yay! Jesus! Yay! Yay! All right, let's return to priest. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's return to Father Maxi. <laughs> oh, screw you! I'm not battling you again. Die, asshole! Fuck you, asshole! Yeah. Nice to see you too. Uh, what is this "nice to see you" thing you're talking about? And <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that concept. Could you introduce it to me? Anyway. I... Do not despair. 
for many find Jesus only to lose him later. <laughs> but the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. Okay. Okay, so new objective. Find Jesus one more time. Goddamn. All right, let's go back to the church. Jesus is all within the church, so let's try finding him. What are you looking at, pussy? Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Well, what the heck? I'm gonna get grounded anyway. You might as well. Also, yeah, <laughs> you cannot run from battles, which can be kind of annoying, but because uh, they were Come not on. completely hard. Uh, it's justified. Especially when I get stronger, because, uh, uh, especially for the early parts of the game, because the elves aren't weak against fire, and uh, my most powerful attack um, is very powerful against elves, so it makes the, the early parts of the game uh, quite fast. I can literally kill three elves in one strike. Mm -hmm. So, starting for the next part, uh, we're gonna have much faster battles. I already, sh I already made a good job showing how the battle system works, so from now on, we're, uh, let's try to cut, cut down some uh, grinding uh, grinding time. Might as well. There you go. Two battles. Oh, trust me, Shiroi. Uh, wait till we battle. Uh, wait till we battle Al Gore in this game, because Al Gore, believe it or yes. not. Because Al Gore has one of the most devastating uh, legendary attacks uh, uh, that we've uh, that we've only heard about in myths. Yes. But don't worry, we'll get to that eventually. Oh, I wanted to show mercy. No, we don't show mercy to fucking elves. One in my presence. Oh come on, Pedro is a paladin. He's compelled to say things like that. I guess yes. Like, have you ever played a D and D session with a? Uh... With one of your party members as a um, lawful good character. By the way, I gotta love how the chick. Uh, I gotta love how we're. Uh, the, oh, um, no, I haven't. Sorry, Tara. Um. Uh, okay, so how do we find Jesus now? Oh. Mm. All right. Is he Shiroi. hiding behind the cross? Uh. Ooh, nice guess, Shiroi. <laughs> well done, my oh, son. Close. I hope you didn't peek. Remember, I'll be right back. I will always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Yeah, they're <laughs> scary. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we found we Jesus! Found Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and we got... And even, we even have Jesus as a friend on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jesus is at least uh, uh, um, modernized, I guess. Anyway, Priest Maxi. I'm glad you found Christ, my son. Be ever vigilant. You may be found in the unlikeliest of places in times of need. I found him in my chimney once. <laughs> and Jesus liked it. Alright. Oh well. We've already. Well, we've. Uh, well, that pretty much. We pretty much made our day. Uh, we found Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Klingon beard. Klingon beard. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more upgrade. Oh yeah, you can also power up your um, skills. Um. Yeah. Basically, every time I level up, I get a new upgrade. If I call, yeah, you can also unlock one perk because I saw you got enough friends. So picking hmm, thirty fighting fifth additional damage against and suffer from gross tough pose revive potions is on you and your buddy now revive the recipient with full health. Okay. Uh, who's hosting? I don't know. Hold on. Well, whatever. The party's almost over anyway. We've been getting reports of a bunny rabbit running around people's yards. I'm gonna okay. Sure. Why not? Apparently I am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I am. Like, Joba dropped for some reason. Now that you have found Jesus, he will always be with you. Yay. <laughs> All right, anyway. Alright, everybody. We found Jesus. In the next part, uh, we get around to doing some more side quests. Because, trust me, there's actually a lot of them to do right from the beginning.
Yep. See ya. Uh, but don't worry, we'll get back to our main quest uh, soon enough. So see, see you for the, see you for the next part, everybody. See ya.